hour long day. We're tired, but this should give us a burst of energy to close out the evening. Dignitas on the T side already looking to move into that A bomb site with a split through Ivy, but there's CTs everywhere. Yeah, as they jump out true to smoke, Get Right does find one, but you see Device been able to return as do Glaive and Magisk, and the bomb dropped out in the open. <laughs> Dig really just trying to recover what they can right now. It's not looking too great. Big kill at least being done by Halzerk, but at this point, left alone in position is also known, and all three of them are just facing them at the same time. But Nate, I don't think actually landed any damage. And he did manage to catch one more as he swung back in, but that's going to be it. Obviously, Dignitas, they want to be finding some success here early on with this being their map choice, especially. And you've seen Freiburg with that main spawn looking to see if he could catch the crossover towards Ebox. Didn't initially. It was Glaive that he done the damage onto, but it ended up following up with a kill elsewhere, Dan. And the flashover is perfect. Get right in Halzerk popping out. Magisk and Glaive are gone. The A bomb site nearly completely overrun. There is still the Vice up in heaven to try and put up a defense. See if he can delay potentially for Zipix to move through, who has actually come in through to connect their smoke as well now. So this may not be expected. Unfortunately, left in the one on three. But if you want any man in a clutch, it would be Zipix. Oh, this is pretty much impossible. I honestly don't know how he lived so long right there. It is definitely a possibility. A little bit of damage, as you said, done early on. Definitely helping out these uh, scouts, especially on the side of Astralis. Maldrick ended up getting tagged by one there as he was trying to actually go through the smoke. And the Vice just retrieving the AK. Spams in. Finds the head of Exist. There is still Freiburg up close who may be looking to try and get this train. Eventually held off for a few second, uh, seconds by the smoke. But is eventually able to go forward and get that return. So the AK doesn't stay in the hands of Astralis for long. But they have the man advantage. And they have three players actually tagged down into a position where those scouts are one shot to the body. But as far as but overall, a good spot. Without a doubt, go down to the scouts. The debris not able to catch an angle. That's the second M4 gone. The scout from afar not able to tag Freiburg up. And as he swings out wider, Glaive is tucked away. They have no idea about his position. They should suspect the player Pop Dog, but the angle was superior as they were holding for Pop. Forrest goes up close, tries to deal with the UMP, but just biding time for Zipnix to get into position and let the time run on down. Dignitas showing heavy preference towards this, but not able to get control down in Pop Dog as Device deletes Get Right, now able to completely focus himself up towards main as they come barreling out, looking for Olaf control, but losing another along the way. The spam through, through the smoke, in fact, even dropped the bomb. Leaving Dignitas now, clutching, trying to grab it back. As Exist comes out, he grabs Zipnix. That could be the kill that opens it up for Freiburg to come on the flank. But he misses the spray at first, almost putting him down. Almost being the keyword, because he then got help from Halzerk. You have Exist coming in from Ivy again, getting his second kill of the round. And suddenly, Device is left alone. He'd been given the room to push through B and get that flank earlier because of the control they found in the beginning of the round. I was going to say, but it's going to be tough for him to get a lot more done. But as he gets that kill, I mean, both of these remaining players are extremely low. Obviously, not knowing the position. Didn't spot the head, apparently, of the player in towards Sandwich. Won't expect him to be up on blue train. And Halzerk will find the trade. But the vice, a nice attempt from him. To happening from that position. The MAC-10 from Ivy probably not going to do a lot with the main push coming out of A main, at least until they close in the distance. But Glaive is, again, limiting the numbers. A nice shot with the Deagle being connected. The Vice got a small opportunity there. Wasn't able to connect, but he has repositioned. So moving forward onto this bomb site could still be costly for them. Halzerk eventually pulling one back. And I believe that'll give them the room now to go ahead and plant the bomb without really much being done. The spam under actually does some small damage. Halzerk down to 40 or so. The shot being connected by Zipix. It really didn't matter because he got the headshot. It was actually, sorry, the Deagle of Magisk to finish off the low player. But it's all on Forest. That's the main thing. A one on three initially. He's got that first kill. Which at this point does let him focus towards Ivy. Because he should know both players are coming from this position. And he tries to swing in and catch one. But it is not allowed. Zipix with the second headshot. I mean, that could be even better if he can make it in behind. The issue is he doesn't have much time at all to do so. Has finally been spotted, but he needs his teammate moving out onto B. Or his teammates moving out onto B to actually find success. And there you go, Halzerk. He gets the trade. It's going to at least give them the bomb plant. But unfortunately, the one on, th the one on three that he's left in is going to be so difficult. But barely, barely any held. What the hell? Halzerk, he hits another shot quickly, but the flank is just not expected. He left me speechless with that one. Honestly, I figured he was screwed. Good nade returned onto Freiburg. Three of these now low. As Astralis take their time, they're grouped up. Look at this. The density of the team as they move forward. And Dignitas not going to get more than one surely on a lot of these angles. Even Glaive shutting them down one at a time. 
It's all down to two. An exist in with one, but not able to double that up. Halzerk with the op. Shot from afar. He missed it, and that's it. He has to bait the shot of device and go for the planter. But Magisk is there as well to take him down as he swings wide. Astralis. Nowhere they can step up, but... So far on train, we're not really seeing that from them. It definitely seems like Astralis have pretty firm control for themselves. Halzerk, though, does catch Dupree trying to spam away through the smoke. The vice was ready as he came back through. Magisk as well on the secondary up, going to be able to get one. But it is still the three on three for now. And Forrest is creeped out in towards Olaf with that will catch Magisk peeking in. I think the Molotov going down, he, he was using that to cover off one side so he could peek in and hold main instead. It just didn't work out for him. But again, constant trades back and forth. Neither team really able to get firm control for long. And that was a, a big opportunity for, for a device that unfortunately he did miss. That was... Oh, just <laughs> didn't expect him to go back towards Ivy, apparently. He just spotted him CT and thought he'd obviously crossed right, but... No. And the Zibnix was last spotted towards Pop Dog, but we're talking 20 seconds ago. They're aware he could be in connector, but they're not ready to take him down. The master of clutches in with an opening duel, and now just Forrest to contend with. He knows where he is. The Molly is going to be late, though. They will stop him falling back. The spray underneath, sadly, not going to be landing as Forrest jumps up on top to it. So this isn't going to be easy by any means, but the scout for now going to be forced back into playing a little bit more passively. There is still one player up close. Zipex, I don't think quite connecting that shot. It looked like it was on the head. Glaive's only able to find one as they drop down, well, drop down, but Dupree in position. And there we go, the flank I had mentioned from Device. It did indeed come in. He's able to deny that bomb from being planted and, and get right in Freiburg. Unfortunately, already being tagged up or left alone to try and save this round. And But it now just being Freiburg, despite getting one kill, you can't really fancy his chances. He actually had two already in that round. Is solid. And for Astralis coming in with two UMPs isn't ideal. We're going to go more aggressive with the op that they have. Magis, he's getting tagged, but somehow still takes down Ooh. a second as well. What is that? Magis is an animal. Glaive wins a duel on a UMP as Freiburg tried to fade through the smoke. And it's a 2v4. All of a sudden, the weaker weapons don't matter. They're gone. They're upgraded. Yeah, I mean, that's the only frag they found, found back so far. Forest is barely hanging on to life, as was Get right, as you said, having taken so much damage. Dupree, he's pushed in towards heaven. Probably the correct decision since he is so low. Oh, Magisk apparently didn't see Forrest there. He had a nade in his hand the other way, so he was screwed. I think Forrest was <laughs> just waiting a second to see if anyone else would show themselves. Oh, but there we go. Yeah, indeed, the Vice is going to be able to get that final kill. 10 to 5 at the half. Early, only 10 seconds in, we're all good, and it's going to be a little bit of a fake. They're heading up towards the B site instead, and all by his lonesome here on the site. Exist is trying to create some distance, but couldn't get it done. Yeah, I mean, they're actually going to be able to make their way on towards this bomb site. As you said, not enough, unfortunately, by Exist. We end up seeing Magisk as well, then taking down Halzerk long range. As that P250 does come in clutch, and look at that, the flash over. Forrest has got completely blinded. Despite having some support, they weren't able to chime in until he did go down, but they have again returned it now to a two-on-two. Two. But I don't think they expect this quick connector flank. Neither of them at the moment are going to be looking back, even being cautious. The Glock, though, not ideal for Zipix. If Magis goes down on the bomb site, they're in a lot of trouble, but he will get that first kill on Freiburg. At least delay a small bit, but get right actually as a kit. He's just gonna smoke a hop on the bomb. Zipix has to get in, spamming away, and hope he can find that kill, but he won't in time. Get right comes in clutch. Risk and reward at that point is B aggression though. Dignitas could catch him off guard. Zipix, I believe, tossing the flash in. It must have blinded up Halzerk. As he goes down in the background, exists at least able to return, and with that, even escapes. Given a bit of room for get right to pounce the pop dog as they were distracted and actually pull an advantage in favor of Dignitas. That is a fantastic position for them to find early on, and it seems like Astralis now feeling forced to commit to B. Exist is still waiting on the other side. He shut them down on the pistols and made sure no plan came through. This time, it's Forrest from afar that's going to be helping him out. And the swing from Exist, he wasn't spotted behind the spools. They couldn't see him, and that should be the round concluded. Device, a big clutch to make happen. Gets around the corner, I'll never understand how. That's a risky one either way, but he's creeping forward, looking to see if he can spot anyone, maybe... Take a couple more with him before he does eventually go down, but not going to be allowed. Forrest was a little bit... Dignitas should be even more cautious of it this time, knowing that there's extra utility, that there's extra armor to work with, and they're starting a very quick play. Freiburg gets a nade down, but actually lets a couple of them out. They're already at the site. A communication comes through a little late. Halzerk already tagged up and taken down, and this is looking so good for Astralis. Device with a double kill. Slippery. He just comes through Ivy. And all of a sudden, they've got a bomb plant and a, a huge advantage. How has this happened? 
Yeah, but a ridiculous amount of damage was done. The Vice was also on around three health, I believe. He gets taken down by the nading connector, but three of the remaining four are barely alive. So this is still really achievable for Dig as they move in with these rifles. Nades wise, just the one flash, and that's not going to be thrown out as of yet. And Magisk on the Deagle takes off the head of Exist, knows that Get Right has gone up in towards Heaven. Freiburg, though, still moving on the ground, looking to try and clear out as many positions as he can. Gets two, but Dupree coming in from Ivy, not quite finding the frag, but he got them off the bomb for a second to spin again. Will they be able to stop it this time? There we go, Glaive. He's won the round for them. And it was also, of course, the Vice who came up massive with those two openings on towards the bomb site. And taken out. And bombsite overrun, device with a double, and he's opened it up this time with the AWP. Things are going so well for Astralos, a second from Magisk, and that was through the smoke. Yeah, I believe the player was completely blind as well. You can't be any more unlucky than that. Get right, eventually pulling one back, but Dupree has just gone ahead and put himself through that sandwich smoke. With that, finds Halzerk, helps out Glaive and, and taking down Get right, who was over towards the E-Box, I believe. And Sneaky Beaky like hasn't been heard. He might, I don't think he can get there in time. They've lost a the player to the bomb. Yeah, it's not really crazy from the T side. I was gonna say just really looking for that off pick with most of their players focused around main, but Freiburg was ballsy with that peak. Does work out for him, actually follows up in a second as Glaive comes in to try and trade Halzerk. Must have moved slightly as he took that shot. Goes down to the op of Dupree, and now it's Freiburg who's trapped around the E-Box. Second for Dupree being found with that retrieved AWP. And suddenly it's a three on three. I mean, this has gotten into a much more awkward predicament than it should have been for Dig. And Get right hiding in the smoke actually spammed down. Kind of surprised he's come out with 70 health. Exist is on the flank, but he's not really going to be able to do anything in time to help Get right. And now he's left alone in the one on two. There, there's no way they expect this so quickly, though. Oh, I believe he's been spotted around the edge of the smoke. Yeah, Zipix was able to... The smoke going down does slightly delay that rotation, but they should still be able to make it in towards the back lines to help out. And look at this, they have no idea. Exist creeping in, Zipix checks just in time, but he needs to win this fight and it's not gonna happen. Forrest comes in with one as well towards Magisk and it looks like Dig may be able to fight themselves into uh, contention for just a little bit longer at least. It's only Device and Glaive in this two on five where really they shouldn't be finding much. Glaive trying to push out A already being low. Indeed, it's an easy finish for Get Right and now Device, he needs an ace clutch. So taking even a couple of weapons out of hands of Dig just to ensure that they could potentially have a, a couple weaker ones in the next round even would be nice, but it's not going to be allowed. That was a decent shot on Freiburg. And that's worked out quite well. <laughs> Random spray. Good kill by Freiburg. We've seen actually a couple players from Astralis getting up very close in Sandwich before being spotted, but it doesn't really seem to be causing too much trouble for Dig. They're still pulling all of the kills pretty much in their favor as it was only Freiburg so far to go down. If Forrest got this final kill, it'd be a team ace, but I don't care who gets it as long as they confirm this round win and put themselves that bit closer to the overtime, as they do end up losing one more player there from Magisk, but again, not a big issue. Behind them, 25 seconds on the clock as the nades go out, and Exist could be the key player in this round. If they can just keep them back, he's got the god-tier timing. Halzerk's got the god-tier up, though, already in there on a double, and as he slowly moves forward, Exist is in there with a great flank and the final kill. Trying to keep these players in position, I suppose, but he's not going to expect Freiburg up close, so he gets dropped quite easily. Glaive will at least be able to find one, and with that, actually, they're going to start moving back over towards A. He has the CT spawn, he has the control to try and at least slow the rotation down, but Freiburg, of course, still being in position with six seconds left. They need to get the bomb planted. It's not allowed. And there you go, Dignitas, they kick off the overtime by winning that round as well. And that was just massive, that round right there from Freiburg. Being able to find that first player coming out. Molotov in towards the site. I don't think that landed. I think that actually failed as it went a little bit too high, apparently. So still giving room for the CTs to play around the bomb site, but they find the opening in towards Ivy, at least. But Forrest is ready. Already finding one. The Flash actually blinding up a couple of those players. As he tried to tap away, unfortunately, wasn't able to connect. And the Vice actually finding himself a second on the up has brought this into a four on one now. Dupree, he just says, no, there's no hope in the retake freeze. As it is. They have literally no idea. I was gonna say had scoped, so he wasn't being completely quiet, but yeah, it really didn't seem like they had any idea. At least being able to find the one for one trade is not a terrible position to be in. You have one player also rotating into a connector, which that Molotov forces forward. Get right goes down Dupree again with the double in the exact same position as he actually closed out that previous round. As it's left on Forrest and Exist once again to try and pull this back. And Exist trying to rotate in true Pop Dog. It's not going to be allowed. Forrest is all alone. 
to try and pull back another round here for Dig, which is very unlikely. Stralis, I mean, looking like they'll actually come out with 17 to 16. During regulation, though, to be fair, they did have a pretty good position to close out. Oh, he didn't expect that player to actually be pushed up close. So. Their CT side was solid. And this is where Dignitas, they need to really impress us. Turn things around completely. And a quick headshot by Forrest. As Zipnik goes down, the rest of his team going to be making their way out. But Glaive, he just completely double keyed up through Ivy. Took himself a frag. They deal with Dupree in the trade, though. Bring it back into a 3v3. They're looking to punish Ivy. Little do they know. Magisk is there waiting for them and taking Freiburg down. Get right and Halter to keep them alive. Get right actually surviving oh. that shot and ends up getting the kill. The Vice is going to be a little bit upset about how that one has gone down, but his teammate's still alive to try and close this one out as Halzerk falls. It's Get right on low health. We have a Molly and a Nade to work with. This could be it. The Nade deployed with no success. The Molotov, he's got it. The Molly goes down and that is time. Burned off the clock. They're going to try to deal with him, but it's too late. Get right's won the clutch. He will go down, but that just doesn't matter anymore. They have plenty of money to rebuy for this final round of the overtime. And... They're just going to barrel down and look to deal with them. Zipnix was so good on the CT side and holding B when he was contested. And he comes through again for one. The spray over. I don't know how he deals with Forrest on that. And get right. He won the previous clutch, but now a 1v4. That little bit harder to deal with, unfortunately. And the bomb not in his possession. Fading back through. It sees a player up on top. He's going to look at him eventually, and he catches the kill in time, but up above him, no idea. Zipnix is there, ready to close out the map, Dean, and 19 to 17 we go. Yeah, with the Xbox smoke down, that could signal that they want to move up for the short control, but with most of the players coming out through lower tunnels and letting that smoke now move away, I think it's more so faking that they could have moved up through short already and then peeking in towards middle. But as you said, with a couple players stacked up towards this area, it is the USPs so far that are just picking off the headshots. A very firm two-man advantage to kick this round off for Dig, and Astralis seemingly now reacting to that quickly to bring it on towards A, where already we've seen them reposition. They have a couple players set up over towards long. It is... Just the massacres they're coming forward. No more kills, but so much damage being done. Just making this that much easier for the dig players to go ahead and finish it off. And Freiburg gets all three. Just topping away. Very patient. And Alzerk, he's going to hear this smoke coming through. And it's time to hightail it to B. He's the only player around here. And in trouble, no utility either. His teammates can't support him. He's got to win the fights with the FAMAS. And he can't get it done. Now the site's going to be overrun. And Dignitas left in a position where... I mean, yes, they've got a little bit of money in their pockets, but it is not fantastic. I think saving might be the way they go with it. Off the M4, and they will have a relatively okay investment. Obviously, you'll see the others then being able to fly back up at the utility. Do they want to? I mean, they're slowly creeping forward. If they find this kill quickly on Glaive, just up to the left here to CT spawn, maybe there is some hope, but it's not going to be easy. I mean, as you said, the short control of most of the Astralis players giving them the chance to play off the bomb. Exist will be able to find that opening, but they need to go quickly. They have no more utility remaining. Dupree is delaying them quite massively here from short and eventually actually finding himself a couple of kills. That was ambitious for us to jump up, but it's all on Halzer. Gets that first kill, but just doesn't have time. It's no longer possible. Zipex isn't going to be peeking at all. Get back the way on short. Realizes he is now one, of course, on time. Behind that smoke, and as of yet, exists not hitting a single one. Eventually connecting something, but Magisk, he gets annoyed. He doesn't like being poked, and he answers back with his own kill. Look at this from Forrest's perspective. Player up above the smoke, but he takes him down and traded out by the Molotov. Fortunately, Get Right slips into the bomb site and grabs a double. All of a sudden, Device is in a 1v3. The flank coming through late from Freiburg. This gives him a chance. A 1v1 on the side. He spots the player. Good shot. Bomb is down. And it looks like Halzerk is moving forward. He needs to be careful. But and if this time he actually will stick the bomb plan. So that's at least a bit of extra money confirmed for Astralis. And now as they move in, the Vice, he has a pretty solid position to try and hold down that door, but doesn't hit the spray. Doesn't even do some any damage at all, apparently. And Halzerk just swing. It smokes still. Actually, no, uh, Forrest has still got one to work with, but they flash out. They're just going to blitz towards him. Exist missing the shots. This is all on Forrest. Get right comes in to help from the doors, but he is pretty much locked out now. Continues contesting. And in fact, good for a frag, but the spray is just a little bit too much through the wood. Zipnix takes him down and a man advantage to play with for Astralis. The retake on B not quite as easy. Gonna start with a very fast push to B. 
Yeah, not gonna be letting up on the gas at all, really. Dupree already finding that first open and even waits for Magisk to get ready at the door as he swings in instead while Exist was fully focused on the window. Although Forrest and Exist could also buy for themselves, so they might just go for that, but the point stands. Astralis are leading 6-3 right. to three, and very convincingly, yeah, Get right has caught Glaive off guard, but Dupree was also behind him, so it was kind of a, a whole situation. <laughs> The AWP gonna be spotted of Halzerk in just a second. Flash around the corner. I think that blinded both of them. It did. Halzerk's in trouble moving forward. Looks for another around the corner, but actually they're not able to deal with the vice at all. He picks himself a double, closing that out. That's what happens, Dean. We've known each other too long. Ooh, the vice doesn't care. He was straight up short. This is such a quick place play, and you can see they gamble towards B because of those last few gun rounds. Freiburg is doing what he can, and he does give them a double, but the Molotov not quite extinguished. Oh. Forces him actually to be taken low, and eventually finished off through the gap in the smoke. Suddenly, it's all being pulled in favor of Zipix. Glaive chimes in with one on to get right, and despite Freiburg's best efforts, it is nowhere near enough for Dignitas to get themselves another round. It's all on exist. Wow, that is ridiculous. On and out here. Oh, I don't know how he gets that kill. Zipix not ready for him to jump up there. Thought maybe he'd move towards long, I presume. And now in a 1v2, it's winnable. He's got a kit, but utility, that's the last bit of it leaving his hands. It's caught in the window. It might blind the shore player, but the one on ramp can still see and nothing being heard. Pre spotted and taken down. Exist in a 1v1 now. He knows Glaive is down near the bottom of the ramp, but he wasn't ready for him to be swinging wide. But he tags up Halzerk and forces him back. The Molotov going to ensure no further peaks as they look to move down towards CT. But hold on. Look who's already here. Forrest rotated down. He looks for the spam, giving away his position. But his device falls. Dupree goes down to 19 HP. And despite them oh. being on B, this actually... They will have spotted him. No? Surely. No, I thought they spotted him in the doorway. He crossed over and he could see them, but they couldn't see Glaive. He's got B all to himself. The bomb's on the rotate. And that's a disaster. And yeah, one player already moving in. It's Glaive. He was blinded for a moment. That was his chance maybe to move forward, but waiting for his teammate to get closer on Long and Halzerk realizing that what was, that's actually what was happening, tried to push into Long instead, because if he could get... Glaive is ready to swing at the bottom of the doors and Dupi to prevent uh, potentially on Xbox. Not allowed. Forrest actually got himself into a better angle there where he was able to isolate the one-on-one. -on -one. Been spammed up a little bit in return, but already having them a two-man advantage right now, it is not a bad spot to be in. Even hits the flick of... What? Excuse me? Okay, that happened. Too many ops. They hit the flick to tag up Dupree, and Dupree, maybe I scared him a little bit because he shot Magisk in the back of the head. <laughs> now they're left in a two on five going forward on A. Zipix pulls one back, but they're going to have to pull off a fantastic two on five here. And okay, Ooh. maybe. I mean, it is still, it is still Zipix alive. And Dupree at this point needs to make up for that previous team, ki team kill, so he might be fired up as well. Uh, not allowed though, the bomb just barely being planted, Zipix though caught in the smoke, already like 10 health, and yeah, Freiburg finishes him off. That was a weird round though. And the only way they could be moving towards this position is if they were creeping through lower, but we can see instead all five grouped up in the tunnels and looking to commit onto B. The initial dink's actually going in their favor, the nade helping it with the finish, but they're all blind, giving Magis quite a bit of time to tap away, eventually getting himself that second kill as well. It was a bit awkward, with the help of Zipix and now also the Vice on the flank who they delayed. To allow him to, who act, to actually get into position. He even now knows that Glaive is shot off. One more on the bomb site being known. That flank though around mid, probably not going to be expected, although it gives him the chance. But they were also immediately ready to follow up through the window and the door. So probably pretty happily for themselves. Obviously, the kills coming in do help them with keeping the money low. They can have a chance with winning this first one round and actually taking themselves control. But it also forced the Shralis to buy back up into mostly the M4s, apart from that single MP9 that they have kept in play. And already with Dupree aggressive in lower tunnels, they find the opening advantage. Device then spots the head of Alzerk popping up in pit, and it's a 5 on 3. Oh, and Zipix just doesn't care. It looked like he was going to go through that smoke as well. It does cost them in the end. And was actually tagged up heavily by Device. I'm not sure how that happened. Perhaps a nade, I believe. Glaive will be able to return one, so it doesn't make things too dicey for them now. It's still a 2 on 4 that they firmly have control of. Oh, okay, device goes down, but the trade's not possible for Exist or for Forest. And Halzer can still see Cross, so he knows there's only one player towards B. Unless there's a little uncertainty as to whether someone slipped by. That can be a possibility, but I do believe that they should have been aware. We've seen the aggression from Device over towards Shark being shut down. Trying to rec uh, trying to claim the long control, though. They do end up losing one player themselves on the Dignitas side of things. Forrest managing to catch one. Was that a long range 5-7?
Magisk might be able to do it. He's got it with the M4 if they want to win this round. Glaive! Oh my, that's a wallbang headshot up on the site. Freiburg's taken down. What a way to lose it. The buy that sees only two strong rifles in play.